Saint of the Day, May 23rd, 1. Saint Euphrosyn of Polotsk. Saint Euphrosyn was born in Polokak, Belarusia, in 1110, and died 1173. Pradslava, the only East Slav virgin saint, was the granddaughter of Prince Polokak Uzhizlav, from whom she inherited a strong will and a determined spirit. As proof of this and of her determination to devote her life to God, she refused all marriage proposals and, finally ran away to join her aunt's convent, Holy Wisdom. There she took the veil and the name Euphrosyn, and the money Euphrosyn earned by copying books, she distributed to the poor. Later she founded and ruled her own convent, Holy Savior, as well as a monastery. In trying to convince her father, Prince Sviatoslav, to allow her sister Harjislava join her at the convent, she argued that in joining, Harjislava would learn to read and write. She was also joined there by two nieces and a cousin. Euphrosyn commissioned the making of a beautiful, gem-studded cross, which she gave to Holy Savior Church in 1161. It disappeared without a trace during World War II. Late in life, Euphrosyn made a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, where she died. After the conquest of Jerusalem by Saladin in 1187, her relics were transferred to the Monastery of the Caves in Kiev, Ukraine. In 1910, they were returned to Polokak, Nadsen. 2. Saint Jane Antide Thorat. On May 23rd the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of Saint Jane Antide, Jean Antide, Thorat, a sister of charity who worked tirelessly for the faith amidst persecution during the French Revolution. Jane was born in Sancy, France, in 1765 to a poor family. Her mother died when she was 16 years old. The saint took on many family responsibilities until she joined the Vincentian sisters in Paris at the age of 22, working among the sick in various hospitals. On 15 August 1797 she returned to France in Besançon, where she founded a school for poor girls. On the 11th of April 1799 she founded a new congregation in Besançon known as the Thorat Sisters. During the French Revolution, when many religious and priests were killed, she was ordered to return home to a secular life. Jane refused, and when she tried to escape the authorities, she was badly beaten. Saint Jane Antide Thorat finally returned to Sancy where she cared for the sick and opened a small school for girls until she was forced to flee to Switzerland. She fled to Germany before returning again to Switzerland to found a school and hospital in 1799 and a congregation called the Institute of the Daughters of St. Vincent de Paul. The community eventually expanded into France and Italy. She died 30 years after the founding of her community, in 1828 of natural causes. In 1934, she was canonized by Pope Pius XI. Saint Euphrosyn of Palats and Saint Jane Antide Thorat, pray for us. K. Carla Channel.